In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five animated steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks when I click. You can see here the step one comes and then from the cutout, the option comes here. You can add the title. Then I've given a small pie chart, which is 25%, the white color. And then you can add some detailed text along with the shadow effect. Then there's an arrow which is pointing towards the step two. You can see here now this has gone to 45%. Then the step three with some different color combinations, 55%, step four, 75%, step five, 90%. Likewise, I have created one more slide with four steps only. So let me just show you. So this is the step one, then the step two, step three, and step four. So depending on your requirement, you can make it four or five or six also. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel. And I have created a WhatsApp group. The link is provided in the video description section. Just click the link and join the group for the latest update on my channel. And if you'd like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the rectangle select the second last which is rectangle top corner surrounded draw any size later on we can change it and then go to rotate you can rotate right 90 degrees then i'm going to change the height as say 1.85 and width as a 3.2 and see here and then just bring it here shape outline make it no outline and you can give some gradient fill for that right mouse click go to format shape and select gradient fill so i have used two colors before that's the reason it's coming one is dark green and another is a light green and then go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe something like this and then shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give a gradient fill and gradient fill i'm going to use two colors uh, one is black and one is the the green color so select this one and select the black you can see here and make sure that the black direction is towards the left something like this and this one i can just make it fully transparent you can see a full transparent or i can just select the color and using the this one eyedropper i can just select and make it full transparent something like this and then you can go to the effects and under soft adjust increase the size something like this and if you want to make it more darker also you can just increase something like this so once this is done what i'm going to do i'm going to cover this area for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering half of the oval shape we can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white so it looks something like this and this one again if you want to make it more uh, soft edges also that also can be done so you can see here it looks something like this and if you want to make it more inside you can bring it inside also so once this is done what i'm going to do is go to insert shapes select a rectangle rounded corner rectangle so this is the one where i'm going to add the step so i'm just going to add it here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give the same color what you have used here and then if you want to add some shadow effect that also can be done go to insert shapes you can select the rectangle draw the rectangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black and increase the transparency level maybe 50 or 60 percent then go to effects again under soft adjust increase the size something like this you can see here and then just reduce the size a little bit and then i'm going to just tilt a little bit like this and then send this to back so you got the shadow effect as well and the next step is you can add the text here go to insert text i'm just going to type say step zero one center align make it white font again choose some good font of your choice i'm going to select century gothic make it bold if you want to increase the size and then just add it here you can see here this is the step one and both of this i'm going to group it by pressing ctrl g and then you can add the text here go to insert text box and you can add the text for example your title here i'll just say your title 
again white font century gothic or any other font of your choice increase the size and if you want you can make it bold and then here you can add uh, some kind of a pie chart or pie diagram where it will show you the percentage how to do that one let's see go to insert shapes i'm going to select this circle hollow you can see here just increase the size by holding the shift key shape outline make it no outline and later on we can change the color so you can see here the height and width is 1.73 go to insert shapes and i'm going to select this one partial circle again this also height and make i'm going to make it 1.73 let me just give some different color no outline and give some different color and then exactly i'm going to put it on top of this then go to insert shapes i'm going to select one more oval shape draw a small oval shape by holding the shift key okay and make sure it is properly aligned in the center shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can make it white or you can make it the color which is green or whichever so what i'm going to do now i'm going to select this press ctrl g to group it bring it here hold the shift key reduce the size depending on your requirement and for example let it be yellow here and this one i'm going to give it a white color you can see here and this color instead of yellow maybe i can choose a black color so we know that okay this much now if i want to increase or decrease can you see here with the help of this one i can increase or decrease so i'm saying that this is for 25 percent for example or 15 percent go to text and just put like 15 percent again white font reduce the size make it bold center align and any good font for example again century gothic i'm going to select and then you can add the detailed text here again center align right mouse or white font the same font i'm going to give reduce the font size and put it here so now what i'm going to do i'm going to group this i'm going to select this rectangle the title the pie chart you can see here the text and don't uh, group the don't select the shadow here and press ctrl g and then go to format send to back so again the shadow is again is visible this also shadow i'm going to send to back so you can see here this is one object and the shadow is one and this is one object and this one is there so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all of this i can just move it here you can see here something like this now once this is done i can do the animation on this one or i can simply add all the steps and do the animation later so it's up to you which way you prefer so let me just select all of these by pressing ctrl a ctrl a Oh, sorry ctrl d to duplicate and then this is my say a second step third step fourth step i'm just making four steps only because i'm giving some gap here and ctrl a and i'm just moving it here you can see here something like this now this is going to be the step two this is the step three and this is the step four now it's time to change the colors so before changing the color i can just connect this step one to step two with the help of arrows go to insert shapes you can see here this one arrow which is the connector elbow arrow and from here i'm just going to select this shape outline you can give a gray color and you can increase the weight something like this press ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm just going to add like this again ctrl d you can see here it's added by default then let's change the color now i'm going to select this and here dark color dark color i'm going to give some this color a dark orange uh, with a lighter orange you can see here and this also inside instead of green i'm going to give the orange color and this also i'm going to give the orange color like this so then you can just change the color for this maybe i'm going to use some teal color some dark color you can see here and here somewhat lighter teal so i can just select this color and again inside also i'm going to select the same color and here again the same color i'm going to choose 
and this one maybe I'm going to use blue you can use any combination blue dark blue uh, with some lighter blue color combination you can see here let me just select this and this also I'm going to give it blue and here also I'm going to give it a blue color combination so you can see here I have created four with different color combinations so almost the design is ready I can just move it up also if I want something like this exactly in the center and then you can reduce the size if it is going outside even though if it is going outside not a problem so once you have finished all these things it's time to do the animation so to do the animation let me just close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane and i'm going to select this go to add animation more entrance effect i'm going to say basic zoom you can see here then i'm going to select this and i'm going to so first of all i need to group this which i forgot to group it so we need to group this one so please group this before starting the animation part so you can see here let me just select and group it yeah now i'm going to select this and i'm going to give a uh, appear and this should happen after previous and for this i'm going to add animation more entrance effect select the stretch click ok and effect options make it from left and this should happen after previous and then this animation the the shadow effect i'm going to give a wipe effect and should happen from left and this should happen with previous so if i play it comes something like this you can see here and then this should happen for this also wipe animation i'm going to give after previous so one set is over now it's easy for me with the help of the animation painter i can copy for example this i'm going to select this animation painter click on the step two then this one select this one here then i'm going to select this click on this then the shadow effect you can see here something like this and then the last the arrow part i'm going to select sorry let me just close this and go to the animation painter and i'm just going to copy it here so you can see here if i play so the two options this is the first option you can see here and then the second option comes like this likewise we can just complete the animation for the rest of the options